Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Rob and Sherry. Hi guys, this is Rob from Outdoor Travel Channel and today we're doing Arizona Gardening. And I thought I'd talk about my last month and a half has been a little rough. It's January right now. We planted in October, November and have a couple of lessons learned. Um, a lot of things uh, did all right, but but I did get a problem with aphids uh, with my uh, spinach and my uh, radishes uh, in my lower garden down here. And I think they came from when I went to a nursery, actually brought them in there. The other problem I was having is uh, in this garden here, I was trying to get broccoli going and I kept getting a critter eating my broccoli and I couldn't figure out what kind of critter it was well success <laughs> last night I set up some traps turns out I had a little field rat um, living under our sauna over here which over here underneath there and uh, late at night he'd come out and uh, uh, boy I put traps everywhere I even got traps <laughs> inside the uh, um, garden here but I finally caught him and uh, so I found my broccoli culprit so now I've been uh, trying to get my broccoli to recover from all the little leaves he ate and uh, so I did the whole thing here I took out our cauliflower because it went to flower because we had a freeze can you believe it in Arizona so <laughs> some reason that set off a little message to my cauliflower to go to flower so I pulled them all out and I replaced them with broccoli because we love broccoli. So uh, the other thing I have added, and I just did that today so they look really sad, is I put in uh, Swiss chard just a little bit in the corner here. And I'm leaving this open for uh, uh, more radishes as soon as it warms up a little bit more. And uh, maybe some more carrots, but we'll see. And uh, let's see. Um, the garlic down here is doing fine. This is a uh, dill, so when we do our canning or pickling, uh, I got some uh, uh, onions going here. They seem to be fine. Um, the big culprit I had trouble with is uh, the freeze tried to damage my on uh, my tomatoes. So a lot of my tomatoes, um, the leaves took a little bit of damage, but it's recovering. So you can see I got some in there. And uh, same thing with this side here. Uh, they're all starting to come back. But uh, that freeze was pretty nasty. But the worst part is it killed almost all of my uh, cucumbers. So I actually had to start over. So let me come around here so the lighting's better. I had one cucumber survive. I've replanted this whole thing. And these are regular cucumbers. These are pickling cucumbers. And this has all been replanted, and they're all starting to come up too. So, have to start over. <laughs> and then uh, down here, uh, our beans took a hit. So the beans are in the back of the row, and uh, there's a couple that look like they might re survive. We're gonna wait one more week for it to warm up a little bit more, then we're gonna replant that. These are be beets down here. They're doing good carrots down here growing slow but they're doing fine these are green um, green onions <laughs> and they're doing fine I've trimmed those things three or four times now and they just keep growing back and I just make more salads got a lot of regular um, onions growing here then farther down in the back is all uh, sugar peas I believe they call them and they are yummy. We can't seem to even... <laughs> We're having a hard time getting them to the house because we eat them before. Uh, lots of lettuce down here. Um, these are uh, uh, the butter crunch. Oh my god. Good stuff. I can't remember the name of this one. This is a really good lettuce too. Everything else is spinach. It's growing. Some of the new spinach is coming up. And on the end here is what they call giant... Uh, Swiss chard. So it uh, doesn't look very giant, but uh, they taste really good in a salad. Oh my gosh. 
So that's the status. It's January now. Uh, hopefully from this point on, should start warming up. I think we got a couple more cool days. But uh, uh, yeah, that's. We don't usually get that many freezes, but it was enough to do some damage. So that's the update with the garden. Uh, I have one more problem. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I bought all my replacements for my my uh, broccoli. Uh, now I've got too many broccolis. I gotta find a new place. Uh, I may have to go get a barrel and I get some extra dirt down here and maybe I'll do a broccoli barrel. How's that sound? So anyway, thank you very much for watching and we'll talk to you later guys. Bye. Hey, thank you for spending some time going through our garden in Arizona. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> Until next time, bye.